you look beautiful. I, Vanessa, I've got to ask you this. Many things happen, and I'm going to take a step now. What was it that happened in your life that made you desire to be Miss Plus USA? Well, um, basically because I found out family, there's lots of plus size females in my family and I liked myself the way I was. And I thought that this pageant that has been going on for about 13 years that was started by Dolores as an audience, I thought that it was such a wonder because I couldn't participate in other pageants because of my size. So it brought a lot of positive things to myself and I just, I just accept myself for who I am. I really like it. Beautiful. We're going to talk more with you. Find out if our panel says that Miss Universe, now we remember that big story about Miss Universe gaining all that weight. Well, should she be required to lose the weight that she gained, some 50 pounds, in order to wear her crown? You don't think so, huh? Absolutely not. How many people think so? of us were really surprised when we discovered that Miss Universe 1996, Alicia Mikado, had gained too much weight during her reign. Apparently she gained some 50 pounds since she was crowned. And Donald Trump, the owner of the Miss Universe pageant, praised her for doing more for people with weight problems than anything else he had seen in years. Apparently she went from 118 pounds to 170 pounds after winning the title. And Trump has put her on a diet and this big exercise regime and she's apparently losing all the weight that she recently gained. The question that I asked my audience here today was, and I want to hear with a show of hands, tell the audience out there what you voted here, how many people say that she should definitely have to be able to lose that weight? No question. Let's hear. How many people say that's ridiculous? She shouldn't be made to lose the weight. Great, you know, and just to see that kind of figure is incredible. And for Donald Trump to walk in there and say, you know, with almost like, okay, you've got to lose weight, you've got to lose weight, I felt like it was a publicity thing mm -hmm. that he wanted to try and bring to the pageant, oh, yeah. which really was sad because she had curves that were like gorgeous. She's a woman. Yeah. When you were watching that Miss Plus USA, pageant to pageant, queen to queen, what were you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing as Emmy saying. It was utterly ridiculous. She's beautiful either way she is. And um, just because she gains a few pounds doesn't mean that she needs to lose her title or needs to lose weight. I think we, that situation got caught up into that stereotype and that distorted view that we have to be small to be beautiful. What do you think? I just feel she didn't win the pageant at 170 pounds. I think she's beautiful, but she would not have won if she weighed 170 That's pounds. That's true, but you know, there you go. You know uh, Marilyn, Monroe, Marilyn, Monroe used to, uh, Marilyn Monroe used to exaggerate the width of her hips because she didn't think that she was voluptuous, no, uh, right. uh, voluptuous enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, that wasn't so long ago that Marilyn Monroe thought that uh, it was sort of great to have... Uh, sure, uh, but, have she, but Marilyn, Marilyn didn't, didn't have a roll of fat around her stomach, don't you see? But yeah. neither she, she worked out with weight, by the way. Oh. No, I'm just saying. So if you got lucky enough to get fat in all the right places, good. Right. What but do you say, Vanessa? Don't, like, look, I, well, I say that. Uh, I think it has nothing to do with uh, how we look. I think we're too caught up in the the physical type of aspects. What is important is that we have to be accepting of ourselves. I have to look in the mirror and I like Vanessa, mm. the way Vanessa is. Mm. And I think that if once we're accepting of ourselves, then that is what is important. Now, as far as Miss Universe, she probably was. Like, I don't really know her, but. She probably was accepting of herself, but she got caught up in that stereotype and those fat labels that we're trying to get away from. I think that it's okay for you to do what you want to do as long as you're doing it for yourself. Hell. Not because of society or some male you that you have to look a certain way. What do you say? I think that Donald Trump saying that was sort of like a public punishment of anyone who was overweight. And that's a really large message you're sending, and it's just totally ridiculous. And mm, maybe well, ridiculous, but he, he gave her a message that goes out right. all the time. That's what we're but trying. then there's a make it positive. But wait, you know, but he also gave her an opportunity to get in shape, not as a punishment, but he gave her a healthy diet Publicly and a workout. And, and apparently she has helped other people. people because let's look at the you know positive side of it. If, if we eat healthy and we go on a healthy diet, it's the 
The word diet really means what we eat on a daily basis. Stop thinking of it as diet. I like every connotation of diet. Right, everybody is on a diet, meaning you eat food. So you might as well eat balanced food, and then if Absolutely. you don't want to be overweight, then you keep it to a limit. And once you reach your goal, you could eat, eat something a little bit extra every day or once a week. You don't have to ever give up anything permanently. What do you say? Well, first of all, this is my first time here, and I just wanted to say you're even more lovely in person. Well, aren't you Hello. sweet? <laughs> Thank you. Second of all. And you wouldn't even care if I gained weight? No, I would not. Thank you. You Go are on. just <laughs> too beautiful. It doesn't even matter. Thanks. Second thing is, as long as you're happy, it shouldn't hey. matter what you look like. I mean, you look That's beautiful right, right here. You look, and you're totally, you are a queen. Thank you. Like Thank this. You. And these lovely it's young ladies home. down here as I well. As long as you are happy, <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It's the perception of beauty, I think, that we mm -hmm. need to start looking at. Exactly. And for, you know, manufacturers, Rolanda, one thing, very interestingly enough, is that plus-size women have not been able to buy clothes, mm -hmm. not been able to buy lingerie, which mm. is very interesting that Playtex is coming out with a full-figured line of body language lingerie yeah. that matches. Mm -hmm. I mean, and beautiful and sexy. How could you ever imagine that? I see more women in here going, when you said that matches, women went, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 you know? Yeah. It's, you would think that we're going into the millennium, mm -hmm. and there would right. be things that would be able that we would be able to wear with pride that you could wear during the day and at night, uh -huh. and you know not feel badly about it. What do you say? Uh, I'm a psychoanalyst, and I do a lot of work with body image, and I think that it's such a destructive message to women that there's only one right way to look. We have a whole historical thing in this country where we're told everybody should look white, and we decided the solution was that everybody should look white. But black is beautiful and yellow is beautiful and this diversity is what's really beautiful and there's a whole, the, every different way it has a beauty of its own and there's no one right way to be and you can feel really good about yourself when you stop trying to put yourself into a box mm -hmm. and say, hey, I like who I am. I, I like, like what you said. You stick around. We may need a little psychoanalysis later. Yeah. Coming up next, we're going to talk to some plus size women and find out how their size affects their relationship. And we're going to talk to some guys who say, honey, the more you got, the better it feels. Right? We'll be right back. <laughs> that another big discrepancy between men and women 89 percent that's a big difference i want you to welcome chiffon amy and kimberly to the show these three women all could death yeah. hey you're amy <laughs> now these three women all consider themselves plus size women and are you proud of it Absolutely. I'm yes. very proud of it. I did want to step back a little bit and take issue okay. with what was said about the miss universe pageant and what donald trump had to say are we so shallow in these United States that we're going to judge a person's worth by the size of their body, I don't think it really should be that way. That's pitiful. Absolutely. That says yes. a lot about us as individuals. The total pageant was not based on her Ella outward appearance right. only. It was based on her talent, her personality. So all of those things, I mean, does that override everything? But just Amy, because you of know, if size? she had walked down that runway 170 pounds, everybody no, sitting at home watching been, the TV would have been mm -hmm. talking about her. Maybe Maybe right, and that's what needs to be corrected is the brainwashing that has been done mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. the that's media exactly. that says that's we should all be about this big. Let me yeah. tell you something. I started out as a very small well, I say woman. At the time I was a girl, I started out size three. I was terribly unhappy. I was size three. I was very, very thin. I was a model, and I had all the things that most people say you should have, but I was unhappy. I didn't like those bones sticking out in those places where they were sticking out. <laughs> and it was a, a while hard. before I started to grow, and my body changed after I began having children. And as a result, I am so happy now with the way that I am. I wouldn't change it for anything. And I don't ever want to go back. And what about the relationship side of oh, it? How did girl tell me now? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. No, really. You know, because I, let's face it, a lot of women are concerned about their bodies because they're thinking about those men folks. And yes. I want to know how does it... Uh, go on, tell me. Well, let me tell you what. There's more of me for my husband to love. All right. <laughs> Both of you, 
very happily married. Very happily uh -huh. married. See, they got the your husband's not saying, you know, lose weight, watch it at all. <laughs> I was a size six when uh, Brad and I got married, and now I'm a size 18. Mm -hmm. I'm not shy. I will tell you what my size is. Now, a lot of women me. will not do I have girlfriends who won't buy a 12 if they fit into it. You, you know, and I know that's not right. Yeah. Well, you but know you what? Can't lose I'll give you a little treat today. My husband is with me today. What he's in the audience. He's right here. And you can ask firsthand about Come an individual on, who's married to a plus size woman. Come on over here, hubby. Hey, hubby. <laughs> about weight problems, you know, what are you, what are you thinking? Well, you know, I married my wife when she was size 12, <clears throat> and uh, she's been size 12, size 14, size 16, time, size 18, times 16, <laughs> size 14. <laughs> Y'all been married and a long time. Long time. <laughs> right. And uh, never have I uh, nagged her about her weight. I loved her when she was size 12. I love her now. Yeah. And I love her when she was size 12. Thing, girlfriend. What are, you, what are you finding? You know, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, most guys are, are very open-minded as far as they don't, they're not looking for the perfect size four mm -hmm. in a woman. They look mm -hmm. at a woman as who she is. Mm -hmm. I mean, last week, this is no lie, I got asked out 15 different times by different men, you know, and I'm, right now, I'm single because I choose to be single. Hey, I'm, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm very, very career-oriented. I model. I, I sing and write music, and you know, it's it's a wonderful thing. And and when I'm ready to get married, then I will. Yeah. But until then, you know, I'm being who I want to be, and I'm very, very happy right. being the size that I am. Thank you all you know, so much. Wonderful. Go on. What? Well, I was going to say. I mean, look at Kimberly. She dresses fabulously. Mm. She feels mm. good about herself. I mean, she exudes that confidence. Why are we attracted to each other? Because we want to be, you know, have right. fun with each other and. And you don't want to be around somebody who's negative and just, you know, hanging his head down. Yeah, I'm going to get into the guys of the audience when we come back and find out what the guys think. I mean, do men look at women's body types? Oh, well, some do, some don't. Is the reality? We'll talk about that. Also up next, the men who say that they love their women big, they're going to reveal why a woman who's a size six just isn't going to do it for them. Maybe it's those bones clanking around and does everything. We'll be back in a minute, everybody. Thank you so much.